A Single Pebble is a novel by John Hersey that was first published in 1956. The novel tells the story of a young American engineer named John Lafarge, who is sent to China in the 1920s to survey a possible route for a hydroelectric dam. As Lafarge travels through China, he encounters a variety of people and experiences that challenge his assumptions and change his perspective on the world. One of the unique aspects of the novel is its setting. The novel is set in China in the 1920s, a time of great political and social upheaval. Percy uses this setting to explore the complexities of Chinese culture and society, as well as the impact of Western influence on the country. Through Lafarge's journey, the reader is able to gain a deeper understanding of the culture and people of China. Another unique aspect of the novel is its focus on the theme of communication. Throughout the novel, Lafarge struggles to communicate with the Chinese people he encounters, both because of the language barrier and because of cultural differences. This theme is also explored through the various characters Lafarge meets, who each have their own struggles with communication and understanding. The novel ultimately suggests that true communication is possible only through mutual understanding and respect. The novel also explores themes of imperialism and colonialism. Lafarge's role as an engineer working for a Western company in China highlights the power dynamics of the relationship between the West and China, and the ways in which Western influence can be both beneficial and harmful. The novel is also notable for its use of descriptive language, which paints vivid pictures of the landscapes and people Lafarge encounters. Percy's writing style is characterized by a sense of realism and attention to detail, which adds to the sense of immersion in the story. In summary, a Single Pebble, by John Hersey is a unique novel that explores themes of communication, imperialism, and cultural understanding set in China in the 1920s. It is notable for its setting, its focus on communication, its exploration of the impact of Western influence on China, and its descriptive writing style.